and back. So, quick stop at home for the weekend. Uh, obviously, seen the vlog before where met Charlie, met Luke. And Luke's let me borrow his camera, which I'm using now, so hence the good quality footage. Loving that. So now we're going back to Gloucester. Don't know what that was. Anyway, yeah, going back to Gloucester and a little surprise for you, which you've probably already picked up on if you read the title of this video, which is, yes, I'm vegan. More information to come soon. But first, drive back in this weather. Let's get the video started. Lamp City. They tell me to slow down, but homie, I'm just living my life and gonna do what you think is right. Cause that's so I don't even know if you guys can hear me right now, but we're on the way home and getting pretty bored so I thought I'd just quickly update you guys. So in the last video I mentioned that I was going travelling soon and that's in about five weeks time. So what I'm doing is if you caught any of my last year's vlogs when I went to Bali, um, I met some guys from Australia. So I'm going to Australia this year only for a week but I'm going to catch up with those guys there, let me stay at theirs which is pretty fucking sick so that should be awesome. Uh, but before I go there, I'm going to New Zealand for a couple of weeks. So what I'm going to do is going to get a camper van in New Zealand for about two or three weeks. Um, just cruise around, go from North Island to South Island, end up in Queenstown and just basically go wild for a bit, you know, spend all my money. Um, and then over to Australia and then from Australia, we're going to settle down in Thailand, Thailand for a few weeks. And then from, once I get bored with Thailand, which I probably won't, Gonna go to Vietnam for then, Thailand, Vietnam, Vietnam for a couple of weeks, and then uh, then back home to London. So overall, it's going to be about a seven-week trip. Really looking forward to it. But one of the reasons now why I'm using this camera, which is Luke's, is because I want to I want to buy a new camera basically for my trips, my travels. Uh, not only that, but I also want a new camera for more fitness fitness content, videos, YouTube stuff, and also Instagram. Just basically get everything looking fresh. Uh, for the website and stuff like that. So that's why I'm using this camera now, because chances are, after using this for about a week, I'll probably end up buying this so I can use it more frequently and um, just use it for regular content. But um, yeah, so that's my trip. It's gonna be about seven or eight weeks in total. Uh, obviously, I'm gonna be taking you guys along with me to show you uh, the, sh sh the shenanigans. I do plan to do some pretty crazy stuff whilst I'm there. I'm going by myself, so I'm gonna have to keep myself entertained somehow. And uh, anyone who knows me knows that I pretty much try anything, speak to anyone, so I know I'm going to have a good time. Hopefully you guys subscribe and you'll come along to the journey with me and it's going to be a good time. Uh, I'm hope hoping to make some good content, hence the camera. I'm hoping to make some crisp footage, so I'm going to practice that for when I go. We've got about another 40 minutes of the journey left. Once we get back, I'm going to explain more about the vegan diet, so stay tuned. See you then. That was a mad thing. What? So people, we are back in Gloucester. Kitchen light, brighter than my future. But I'm just gonna basically give you a quick idea of the whole vegan diet thing and why me and Kieran are both doing it. So, Kieran, my flatmate, by the way. Um, basically, we've got a friend at uni who's doing a study on the effects of a vegan diet on rates of recovery. So, what we're going to do is Kieran's already been in today to do testing. So, it's basically 15 sprints, 10 second sprint, 20 second rest, repeat five times. And after you've done that five times, you go on to do 30 drop jumps and then repeat that process three times. So altogether, 15 sprints, 30, uh, 90 drop jumps. But the guy who's doing it, I'll get you, get him to give you a quick lowdown, and he'll probably explain that a little bit better than what I do. But basically, we've been on it for about four days now, and basically what sold it to us is the fact that we get our food for free. So he gives us all his food, and I'm just going to show you basically what we've been having. And it's not really been too much of a change to our normal diet because there's a lot of substitutes for normal meat that we're using. So the only really difference it's making is the protein content. And the only downside is that uh, the foods that we're eating are a lot sort of typically lower in uh, protein than normal foods we eat, such as meat. So if you look like a chicken, for example, might have like 30 grams of protein, whereas 
meat substitutes we have now, like the highest bit of food, the highest protein containing food that we have, is usually probably in about not even 15 grams of protein. So to actually reach that protein requirement, you've got to eat a lot more food than what you normally would do. So that's the only downside of it. And the other thing is that because you're eating a lot more fruit and vegetables and things like that, you're getting a lot more fiber in your diet. So you do get a little bit gassy sometimes, just a little bit gassy. Um, but hey, it's good for digestion, right? So. What we've been eating, I'll show you into the cupboards quick. So, this was fully stocked up, but we just got a lot of chili beans, chopped tomatoes, some sweet corn. Uh, what we've been making quite a lot recently, just in the slow cooker over there, we've just been having sort of chilies uh, with some sort of fake mints. Um, that's actually been quite nice, so we've had that quite a bit, and again, it's easy to make. Breakfast, we've been having some rice milk with cornflakes and rice milk is really sweet really high in sugar don't know if you can see bear with me one second yes yeah, so the carbohydrates with sugars 7.1 so it's quite high in sugar really sweet and that goes really well with cornflakes so I've been having like two or three bowls of that each day um, I'm not tracking any of my calories because we're only doing this for a week but I'm just gonna see how it goes there are a few things that I'm taking from this diet so for example I'm snacking a lot more on fruit and things like that, so things that are better for the body, whereas normally I'd snack on and there's something like you know, a bagel or five or one bars, which aren't too bad, but just generally like things that are quite high in carbs and not necessarily as nutritious for the body. So in the fridge as well, we had a lot more sort of fruit and veg. Most of it's gone now, um, as we're a few days in, but just like peppers, tomatoes, uh, some falafel things, which are pretty tasty. Um, and then a lot of the sort of fake meat substitutes that we've had have been in the freezer, so bottom drawer just got like frozen fruit which we normally have anyway, but then sort of chicken, chicken strips which aren't too bad, and if we just look at the macro content of these if you want to have a look, so again don't know if you can see this if we focus in there, so as you can see protein 18.3 grams, so not too bad um, but that's really, that's about as high as it gets. That is, that's being generous, that's as high as it gets. When it comes to this sort of, when it comes to this sort of stuff. Um, chicken nuggets and burgers. So I've just, oh, I've actually just eaten. I had some of these burgers and some chicken strips uh, and to get my protein up because I've been at home for the other rest of the day. So um, didn't get much protein in whilst I was there. And again, these are like 17.9. And like I said before, that's pretty much as generous as it gets with the protein content. Shut that back. We got some fishless fingers. I haven't actually tried those yet, but that's, that's pretty much it on the frozen food side of things. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm going to do my testing tomorrow morning. 8 a.m. and it's got to be fast, which isn't too bad because I usually train fast if I go in that, more, that time in the morning anyway. So I'll catch up with you then. I'll give I'll give you over to Graham and he's going to give you a little talk on basically what it's about. And then you'll see me. Apparently the test is discussing. So Kieran done that this morning. So you'll see me probably struggling through that and see how it is. Okay. So catch you in the morning, guys. Take steady. There's the beast. So this is Graham, everyone. He's going to give you a quick lowdown of what we're in there for and uh, what this study is all about. So my dissertation is post-exercise recovery, plant versus whey protein. So the participants won't know from plant-based vegan protein or a whey-based protein. Okay. So I do resting blood measures, resting performance measures, tough exercise session, and then see what the recovery is at 24, 48, 72 hours post with USN vegan or USN whey protein, whichever it is, you'll never know. Nice. So we're just in there now, about to take the blood samples and then we're going to get on with the testing over there. Kieran's already done his. How was yours, Kieran? Gross. Disgusting. <laughs> so I've got that to look forward to. Two, three, up. 
Squat, two, three, up. Three, two, one. Come on then, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Three, two, one, rest. Step up. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> How's that feel, mate? Just wipe that. Let's see if I get to it. <laughs> I tried going there yesterday. They don't accept us, mate. <laughs> Just finished the intervention. Done the sprints followed by the drop jumps. And they failed to mention the drop jumps with 10% of your body weight. So I had to hold 10 kilos, land, stick landing, repeat that 30 times after each five repeated sprints. I'll kick and die. Just taking the post blood, taking the post test blood left levels to compare them to the baseline. Originally they were pretty high, so it'll be interesting to see what they are now. Modern well mate, now you've got to force a shake down here. So, I've got my post-workout shake, just recovering now, and... Struggling to tell whether it's whey or the vegan one, but either way, it tastes alright to be fair. And then I've got another one to have in about four hours time. But, I'm gonna head back now, make some vegan food. Graham gave us more stuff down here. It's like frozen mints and some basically some more of the frozen food which I showed you last night. We got plenty of veg to keep us going so catch you there. So we are back in the house. We've got some vegetables ready to be roasted. We've got carrots and peppers and at the moment we're just boiling some potatoes and once they have got a bit softer I'm going to chuck them in the roasting tin and chuck them in the oven for half hour. I'll show you when it's done. So that's the food, that's like the main bulk of our meals that we're going to be having uh, for lunch now and then we'll probably save some for dinner tonight or lunch again tomorrow. Um, actually for dinner tonight we're probably going to make up a chilli so we've got like some corn mints or whatever it is. Mix that with some chilli beans, have that with some rice, it's usually pretty nice. But with this, we'll probably just have some uh, some of those burgers which I've shown you because they're pretty good. So we can mix that with that and that'll be our main meal. And then obviously, tune in later. I'm going to wrap things up there, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video and got a bit of an insight into the vegan diet. And maybe if you wanted to go vegan yourself or if you are vegan and watching this, then I'm with you. I'm with you. So I will see you on the next video, guys. Take it steady. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. See you on the next one.